What's up guys, Card Protagonist here. Today I'll be doing a super awesome deck profile on my all new Nova Grappler Generation Stride deck featuring battlers, extreme battlers. So basically, um, Kamui now plays, instead of playing Rises, Kamui now plays with this archetype called Extreme Battlers, which look freaking awesome. I mean, look at their, look at the cards. Yeah. Awesome, they are like mini robots which evolve first from a size of a head all the way to its final form. Yeah, so yeah, as a head, as a body, upgraded body, and a full form. So yeah, this deck is really amazing because of its strike unit. The because strike is just so strong. Basically, this deck, what makes this deck really strong is because of this card. A strike unit that restands itself. And yeah, it so basically it's like a sing saber dragon in a way. So let me go through deck before I explain this deck. And stand triggers stand trigger deck really um will do, really crush your opponent if you can restand your Vanguard because checking more triggers will give you a more uh, give you more advantage and more attacks. So yeah, and late game uh, more attack is better than crit. So we all know that. But right, let me go through deck profile quickly. So for extreme battler Victor. Victor, yeah. Basically, uh, Kamui's avatar. Generation Blast 2. When this unit attacks the Vanguard, if you have two face up cards in your generation zone, when this unit attacks the Vanguard, it gains plus 5k power. And when it attacks, you can stand one of your Vanguard units and let and give it 5k power. So, um, so basically, 16k base attack. And you can restand one of your Vanguards and gain 5k power. I mean, this is you're not going to restand a uh, grade 4, but just an example. Second ability is what I really really like because it goes well with all the strike units including its um, smaller version which you will spam early game and spam this as a finisher. High chance when I write this guy um, the game will end because so many things will restand and your opponent can't really take it. Oh, this guy is so good. Alright. So yeah. Uh, second ability is um, when your vanguard strides, so when you discard uh, sorry, a great tree and you strike. Against this ability, when this unit attacks the Vanguard, you may counter blast one. If you do, restand one Vanguard to control and it gains plus five k power. But this unit, um, this ability can use, be only used once per turn. It's so sad if it's that ability because I kind of wish that it it could like okay attack. Let's say you have a Vanguard here. Attack the ready attack. Then you restand. Then ability discard to restand. Attack again. Attack. Restand again. Attack. Whoa, that'd be too strong. Uh, but it can be used once, one, one time only. So yeah, it's still very good ability because yeah, sending a f um, common plus one to restart unit game plus five k is just too good. All right, the next uh, great tree is we play is extreme battler Musashi. Um, I know there's another one that is a promo promo card from. There's another extreme. I think it's extreme leader. So basically, I recommend you using that because that is uh, when you stride on the unit, you gain plus 5k. But however, this unit is uh, just there because it's a Lion K base attacker. And to be honest, I won't really use this guy's ability or this guy's uh, uh, first ability. So yeah, it's just there for a Lion K base and he looks awesome. So yeah, you got, I could actually recommend you guys play Asura Kaiser because uh, if you write Asura Kaiser early game, even before I strike, you can restand one of your records, I guess, if you check Great Tree. So, uh, his ability is pretty meh. Um, generation Blast 1. When this unit attacks. No, no, this is an activate skill. So, you activate Counter Blast 2. Uh, give two of your records plus 2k power. And choose one of your opponent's records that has less attack power than one, than that record you power up and retire it. So, something like Kagero skill. <laughs> this is the first time I see uh, no grapplers retire skills, so yeah. Second ability is when this unit is placed on Vanguard Circle, you can soul plus one uh, to call a unit from your hand and gain plus 5k power. So that's the normal uh, Royal Paladin stuff. So this is, doesn't define Nova grapplers much. So if you like, you just play Nova um, Asura Kaiser. I just play him because it's, it just goes well with the team. All right. Next we play is um, just 3 Vanillas because. Early game because ten k no pass opponents is too good. Uh, four twelve k beat sticks. Um, with the with the starter is your five k, 
you really want a lot of 12k beat sticks. Yeah, because it will reset and you can hit the Vanguard again. Uh, four of these. Um, generation Break. When this unit attacks. No, no I mean, like, if. Um, when this unit stands via your ability, this ability or your stand trigger, it gains plus 5k power, so it's it's like a. Yeah, Kirin. Is it VCDD Kirin, I think? Right, now is the great ones. We play. One sec. Yeah, for the great ones, we play this. 8k Vanillas. This is probably one of my favorite looking 8k's now. Look at its art. Yeah, I just realized this artist, which uh, he drew gar all the Gamo cards. He loved to add explosions. Yeah, it's the Michael Bay of um, Vanguard. So yeah, that, that's why the art just looks so good. Four, eight K, early game, ten uh, K no pass opponent. Four of these um, activate is when you place in the Ragard circle. You can um, shuffle back one great tree back from your hand. Reveal a great tree from your hand. And review and shuffle back to your deck and search for a victor. Which helps you write this more consistently. Very good. And second ability is when you discard card for a strike, you gain plus grade. two more grades, so you can discard one card for. Originally, you need to discard three uh, grade ones, but you can just discard one of these to strike your Vanguard. Gotta make some this. Gotta max out this unit because you need to strike all the time. Four perfect guards. Yeah, I recommend you to get more of these uh, unflippable perfect guards, but uh, this kind of work fine for me. I would, of course, get more of these. I'm just doing this because I'm trying to rush for the deck profile once a week. So, yeah. Uh, energy charges. When this unit is placed on the Ragard Circle, so Blast 2, draw 1. Awesome. And this guy is Generation Break. When the same, you, um, with the front row restands, he gains plus 4k power. So, yeah. He's just there to boost your attacks because you can restand all the time. Alright, now for the. Awesome strike units. Oh wait, the triggers. Yes, the triggers. I almost forgot the triggers. The awesome looking uh, blonde Hats Hatsune Miku, they call it. So yeah, a generation break. When this unit boosts a Vanguard, after it, after it boosts, you can reset more of your units and shuffle it back to your deck. This is really awesome. Um, not really plus as awesome triggers. Awesome looking triggers, which I like. Speaking of awesome looking triggers, you gotta play this guy. Because this is the coolest looking robot in the whole galaxy, man. Yeah. This is just a, this is just the best art in Vanguard. This is the best stand trigger art in the Vanguard, right? Yep. Yeah. I mean, this is drawn by a, a wrestler, so yeah. I don't know what it's thinking. But it looks awesome because if you if you check two you check two of these, you deserve to win the world tournaments, right? Oh yeah. Ninja looking tentacle beast. Alright, four draw triggers and four heal triggers. Basically, it's a stand build because I'll be attacking my rear guards most of the time, so I'll utilize stand much more often. Alright, now for strike units, we play four of these. Uh, similar to uh, Ragnar Clock, you require, this unit requires you to, uh, to flip up one of your own units, so yeah, the effect is like this. Uh, when you write, you can activate its skill. Activate by counter blasting two and flip up one of your, flip up one of this, a copy of itself, a persona flip. And when this, and it gains ability when this unit attacks. After the attack, you can discard two cards to restand the unit. However, it loses the twin drive. So, unfortunately, even for the first attack, you'll be a twin drive only. However, it's a really, really huge attack. It's twenty six k attack, and it resends for another twenty six k. So. Most your opponents most likely just got a gut for him thirty k just for. Your opponent will definitely need to keep sixty k for it, the Vanguard alone. So that's really huge, and you combo with this guy, which you attack. I mean you can't really combo, but when you attack, you can reset a unit. So that's really good. So yeah, this is the very first resetting G unit, which is awesome, and his art is really awesome. So it's like um, sword king of sword, yeah. So the next one is we play is four of these, uh, basic Nova Guard plus. Yeah, when this unit attack hits the Vanguard, you can choose one of the Guards and stand it again plus five k. So yeah, triple drive and very nice ability. Uh, basically, you just pressurize your opponent using these and finish it off with these because yeah, you can be stand two times. Yeah, and you and you drive check four times. So yeah, it's still good. I mean, you 
you do twin drive twice, it's four checks. So bonus is gonna be that. This is currently the highest amount of check you can do by its own. Yeah, a strike unit that can do four checks. So yeah, awesome. So I hope you guys enjoy my deck profile on my Victor deck. Be sure to add me on Facebook and subscribe to my channel for more deck profiles next week. Uh, probably Royal Paladins or The Axe. So yeah, peace out, love you guys.